Hello guys, today is another beautiful day and I want to introduce you to an opportunity that will help you to achieve your dreams. Today I'll be telling you about a fellowship program which is going to be holding in the USA and you've got an opportunity to move to the USA through this fellowship program. Well, while this is a temporary program, it gives you the gateway to move to the US and this is going to be on a fully funded basis. That means you're not going to be spending any money of your own. You're going to be getting a free airfare to and fro. You're going to be getting a free accommodation. You're going to be getting a free, free food. You're going to get everything that gives you the opportunity to move to the U.S. And this is going to be holding in North Carolina in a university called Duke University. I mean, this is one of the popular universities you may recall that um, is in, in North Carolina. So you've got the opportunity to interact and network with people across the world in this um, during this program. Well, this program is going to hold, like I said, North Carolina. It's going to be within the May 2024, 24th May to 30th of May 2025. And application is ongoing and will soon end. So if you're someone who has got a passport and who has got a dream to move to the U.S., then this opportunity is for you. So guys, I want you to come open-minded and hit up this application. I mean, if you're someone who think you want to do this, then... I will wish you the best of luck and I hope you get it. By the way, be aware that this is an opportunity for everyone, every country is involved. It's not meant for one country or a few people or there's any restriction on it. So this program which I'm introducing you is the Youth Interface Leadership Fellowship on Climate Change 2025. And this program, like I've said, is holding in Duke University, um, which is in North Carolina. And Registration is currently ongoing, and program date is May 25th, May 24 to 30th, 2025, and this is the application tab. But then before I take you through that, I just want to say this to you. A number of youth, 25 exceptional youth will be selected, okay, to join this program, and it is designed to foster trust and understanding between individuals across faith, culture, and sectors, while equipping them with knowledge and skills to apply the value-based framework rooted in faith to effectively address climate change. I'll be taking through a number of things, and uh, well, the fellows will be trained by distinguished specialists in religious studies, climate change, cross-cultural and interface relations, media and community work, and faith leaders, students of eco-theology, environmentalists, community activists, and an early career professionals eager to deepen their knowledge of faith and environment protection are all welcome to apply. Well, this program is going to be, application is ongoing, and application will be ended on 31st of August, midnight. So if you're someone who wants to do this, this is your time to apply, and I wish you good luck. Well, you may decide to download the application guideline here, which gives you more opportunity and more information on how to apply. For this program so this is about the fellowship the fellowship is a fully funded week-long residential program at duke university for the next generation of climate leaders it offers an invaluable opportunity for young people to be a part of a rapidly growing network of faith inspired climate actors through expert lectures interactive section dialogues and vocational training fellows will learn to develop impactful faith-based climate action projects for their respective communities. The curriculum will be delivered by distinguished specialists in religious studies, climate change, cross-cultural and interface relations, media and community work. So that's about the program. And you can see um, what they're gonna do in this program, what um, the follows needs to get exposed to, okay? As part of this program, our fellows will, one, develop a comprehensive, comprehensive understanding and application of faith value, specifically on the natural environment and how this connected, inf and how this connection informs the idea of leadership, justice, and community in their climate leadership and community organization efforts. They also need to acquire an improved understanding of community dynamics to tailor intervention that resonates with multi-faith, multicultural context. Also, refine communication skills to become articulate, empathetic, 
influencers adept at both listing and shaping public discourse, guiding community opinion and engaging decision makers effectively. And next is that they need to cultivate leadership that embrace cultural and religious diversity, strengthen inclusivity, trust and equity with their mobilization endeavor. And lastly, need to initiate faith-based climate awareness and community-driven climate action projects. So these are things you need to do during this program. And this is the vision and approach. I don't want to go through that, okay? But then, importantly, note this program will cover the cost of participant air travel, visa fees, accommodation, and food. Any additional expenses will not be covered, but all this will, are going to be covered for you. For the vision and approach, you can look at it later on. And the host institution is Duke University, which is a, a well-renowned university covering a lot of um, about 8,600 acres of land in three campuses. And lastly, importantly, I would like to tell you about the participant selection criteria. This world, they are going to be based they are going to base the selection on number one you need to be within 20 to 35 years of age if you're within this age then you will be able to apply and you know to join the cohort and it is encouraged that people should apply from different faith because they're going to be taking representative from different faith different communities different abilities different gender and different sectors so it is it is open for everyone but this one should fulfill the following eligibility requirement number one age which I've told is 20 to 35 years of age. And number two is that you must have an education or you should have had a volunteer experience and or a work experience which is relevant to the theme of the flush, which is environment, religious, community leadership, and a number of other things that relates to mankind, okay? Then next, you need to have an access to a local network, social, professional, religious. Um, it is so you should have a network of people within your social environment, your personal environment, and your religious environment. And, or you should be willingness to mobilize accessible local network of people. Hopefully when you return, I have a command of English language, which means you should have some command of English and English language proof. Not necessarily IDHS, but probably your um, O-level exam or whatever in English language you can provide. Yeah, participant expectation. They expect five things from you. Number one, they expect you commit your time for the entire duration of this fellowship, including any pre or post fellowship section, because they're gonna have a pre fellowship section before you move, and also when you have returned. And the next thing is that they want to commit to development of faith-based community climate action project. And number three, they need you to demonstrate eagerness to learn and expand your network and to benefit from exposure during the net uh, fellowship. And number four, they need you to have a strong commitment to diversity, inclusion, and interfaith cooperation. And lastly, you must commit to the fellowship, you know, alumni program and other engagement events. Yeah, what do they mean? So whenever they call on you, you should be able to answer this. So those commitments you have to demonstrate, okay? Now let's look at the big chunk which is applying for this fellowship. For you to apply for this fellowship, all part, um, prospective candidate must fill out an application form, which I've shown you, and I'm going to show you again where you can fill this in the website, just right above here. Besides assessing candidate eligibility for the program, the online application contains questions on their skills, motivation, and relevant academic, professional, volunteer, and leadership experience to test you to ensure you're able to do this, okay? This is like a checklist to see if you can actually fit into this program and only successful candidates will, you know, um, who are being clear will um, interview, will be, inter sorry, will be invited for interview, okay? So only successful candidate who clear both the application process and the interview process will be notified for their selection via email. Now, one important thing in this application process is the reference letter, okay? The reference letter must be sent seven days after you have received a notification of success. After the interview, then you would need to send a reference letter through one of your someone from your workplace or your educational institution, even your church, to info at faith for our planet.org. And in this letter, they are going to specify a number of things, about five things they are going to specify. Number one, their contact details like email, phone numbers, work address, agency. Number two, they're going to say how long they've known you. Number three, they're going to um, do a brief endorse, overall endorsement of 
your set of skills in leadership in networking and other interpersonal skills that you possess even if being a religious person is fine uh, number four they're gonna say what capacity they know you is it through education and voluntary work or personal or religious work and number five they're gonna um, do a brief endorsement of your leadership interpersonal skill and previous performance at your workplace or wherever they've known you so they're gonna do that endorsement to show that you're good to go and you know be aware that they may contact your refer um, referee so don't just go and do some um you know kind of bad work and send to them the next thing you need to know is english language process you need to submit either ielts TOEFL, cae or any english language but then it's not this you can see what they've said here encouraged to do this okay you all a widely a widely recognized english language you're encouraged to submit this but then if you don't have this you can submit what you have be aware that um, widely recognized english language includes even exams like gce YEC, and all that so your o level is accepted especially for those who studied in an english language uh, english teaching countries like nigeria ghana Sierra Leone, liberia and other but if you study in india it's better for you for you to provide ielts TOEFL, and other things which are available with you or even pt is accepted okay yeah also be notified that um the absence of such tests will not negatively affect your selection in as much as you can demonstrate that you speak english language but if you put it there i mean it's an added advantage the last thing is the interview the interview is going to be um you, the interview is going to be within 40 to 60 minutes and it will be holding across a um, section of time Okay, which I will be taking you through. Let me see. I think I'm missing. Yeah, the interview is gonna be within um, November 10 to December 31st. By the way, the registration start from 5th of August to 31st of August midnight when it's gonna close. And interview is within 10 November to December 31st. And January 2025 is announcement of the fellowship cohorts for 2025. And lastly is. 24 to 30th of May uh, 2025, fellowship head at Duke University in North Carolina, USA. That is um, where you're going to be finishing your job, where you're going to network with people and all that. Anyway, this is about Duke University. If you want to know about Duke University, you can read up this. And these are just like um, for you to see all that information, like the fellowship started in 2023, 24, and now in 2025. So, this is ongoing. Well, if you want to interact with the website, you can come here and interact. At least you can see collaboration team and a number of things that will help you to answer your question accurately. So, guys, this is what I have for you about um, moving to USA through this fellowship program. I'm not telling you that you're not going to come back. You're expected to come back to your country. But if you find opportunities, fine and good. But then this program is also to expose you. And once you come back, you network and do more things in your country. It's going to be giving you a lot of... Um, you know plus to your cv and you're not going to spend your money because um the fellowship is taking care of everything right so guys this is what i have for you today and i wish um you the best of luck if you're someone who find this um helpful please do apply but if you think that this is not one of your things then you can leave it but guys i would like you to share my video and want you to give me a thumbs up I'd also like you to um share this video to network of people whom you deal with okay guys i'm gonna um, see you in my next video do not forget to comment where you're watching from so that um, we can interact with each other and I will know what the need of your location is and I can make videos that will help you to achieve your dreams. I wish you the best of luck, guys. See you in my next video. Cheers.